Hey, howdy, hey, how is everybody doing? And welcome back to Disney Daily. Ariel and Flounder have a loving and playful dynamic. I think they have one of the most profound relationships in the Disney universe. In the movie, we see that Ariel is kind of the odd one out in her family, the one who marches to the beat of her own drum. And although she might not be very close with her family members, she seems to have the cute little guppy to always lean on. Flounder seems to be the one right there with her on her journey to figure out who she wants to be and what she really wants out of life. Unlike Sebastian, who tries to talk her out of multiple decisions, Flounder just supports her through it all. It also looks as though Ariel seems to be the only one that Flounder has. We never actually see any of his family or friends. I mean, heck, we never even see a fish who looks like him. This in particular got me thinking, how exactly did these two meet? And was it always such a genuine friendship? Well, I try to answer those questions in today's video. Now, I thought going into this video that the answer would be quite simple. Given how many additional Little Mermaid movies we have and a TV series, however, quite the contrary. As it turns out, there are two conflicting portrayals of how Ariel and Flounder met. So with that being said, I'm going to tell you both versions since I wasn't able to differentiate which one was considered canon and which one wasn't. Basically, I'm leaving it up to you all which tale you like better and that can be considered your version of how they met. The first story of how the underwater friends met comes from the TV series which originally aired on Disney Channel. In the episode entitled The Evil Manta, we learn not just about their initial encounter, but a little bit about Flounder. In this version, Flounder comes from a rather large family with multiple siblings and is known as Guppy number 35. When Flounder first encounters Ariel, who was just 16 years old at the time, they bump into each other on a swim. Interestingly enough, it wasn't friendship at first sight. Flounder was very fearful of Ariel because he thought she was a big fish looking to eat him. So in an attempt to save himself, he swims away away from her as fast as he possibly can. But Ariel catches up to him and convinces him she was merely a mermaid and that she wouldn't harm him. Ariel also promises to help Flounder find his way back home and from there the rest is history. Now the next portrayal of their meeting comes from the movie Ariel's Beginning, which was a prequel to The Little Mermaid released in 2008. Here Ariel overhears Flounder making music, which at the time was forbidden in Atlantica under King Triton's new law. Ariel asks him to play the musical notes again for her, for music was something Ariel missed terribly. As the two are talking, the guardfish confront them, and just as they are ready to arrest Flounder, Flounder takes off with Ariel alongside him, the two maneuvering their way through caves and reefs just to try and escape the guards. However, the two are finally stopped by Sebastian, who orders for the arrest of Flounder because he broke the law, but Ariel is able to convince him otherwise. And it was from that point on that Flounder knew he had a true friend in Ariel. Well, as I stated before, for, it is up to you which version you like better. It all really comes down to personal preference. And I also suggest you watch the animated series and the movie on Disney Plus. Both really add so many more layers to the Little Mermaid tale. I hope you enjoyed this video and my question for you all is which aquatic animal would you choose to be your best friend? As always, thanks for being my guest here at Disney Daily. Until next time.